Hello viewers, welcome to this exciting video. In this video, we will be looking at the November 2016 Science Paper 1, uh, Section B, Question 4. Question 4 reads, Figure 4.1 shows a pulley system used to lift a load of 9,600 newtons using an effort of 2,400 newtons through a vertical distance of 20 meters figure 4.1 shows a pulley system used to lift a load of 9600 newtons using an effort of 2400 newtons through a vertical distance of 20 meters okay so uh things to take note just from the description there is that the load the load is 9000 so l is equal to 9600 newtons and the force which is actually raising that load which is the effort is equal to 2400 newtons now in so doing the load is raised through a distance of 20 meters so the distance that is moved by the load allow me to use that kind of notation the distance moved by the load is equal to 20 meters so that is the information we've been given in the question all right let's see what uh, is there so this is a pulley system true a, a block and take off uh, pulley system now this pulley system uh, basically has five pulleys five pulleys three on the on the uh, top block and two on the bottom uh, block so uh, uh, having seen that okay we go to the question the question is saying calculate the mechanical advantage of the above pulley system calculate the mechanical advantage of the above pulley system now when when we look at the mechanical advantage the mechanical advantage for almost any simple machine has got the same formula the formulas that change are the formulas of the velocity ratio okay so for mechanical advantage mechanical advantage m a is equal to the load divided by the effort uh, mechanical advantage is equal to load divided by effort and this is going to be 9600 newtons divided by 2400 newtons so the newtons there will cancel out so we will not have any units i'll also cancel out the zeros because i have two zeros on top and two zeros at the bottom now uh, 96 divided by 24 96 divided by 24 96 divided by 24 is equal to 4 so our mechanical advantage is equal to 4 so mechanical advantage is equal to 4 with no units please mechanical advantage does not have uh, units all right we proceed to the next uh, question they are saying what is the velocity ratio what is not calculate what is the velocity ratio meaning that for a a, a, a pulley system we can easily uh, deduce the velocity ratio and what is the velocity ratio yeah when it comes to the velocity ratio i've heard a lot a lot of a lot of things that in most cases work but will not work always and in this particular case uh the only advice i can give for you to correctly get the velocity ratio anytime and always is that uh count the number of strings supporting the load count the number of strings supporting the load so how do i do that i come in between uh, the two blocks and draw a line okay so the two blocks between them i draw a line like that 
then I count the number of strings the line is cutting. So I have this string, one, this string, two, this string, string, three, this string, this string four and this string five so i have five strings being cut i know uh, you may just say uh, but we we've been told that you just count the number of pulleys yeah even in this particular case there are five pulleys now imagine the same configuration but if the effort was pointing upwards and you just count the number of pulleys then you have a wrong velocity ratio because even the effort in that particular case if the effort was actually pointing upwards not downwards in this particular case the effort is pointing downwards therefore the effort is not supporting the load but when the effort is pointing upward it also supports the load therefore the velocity ratio will not be equal to the number of pulleys same as for a single uh for a single moving pulley all right so the velocity ratio in this particular case is five so we are going to have our velocity ratio as just five so five is our velocity ratio velocity ratio has no units velocity ratio has no units okay then we go to what is the efficiency of the pulley system what is the efficiency yeah uh in b i said what is then i said we can easily deduce but here what is the efficiency efficiency needs to be calculated okay efficiency needs to be calculated uh and the efficiency in this particular case we've been given the mechanical advantage and the velocity ratio we can use them to calculate the efficiency and efficiency is equal to mechanical advantage over velocity ratio you can have it like this or multiply it by 100 percent and it will be expressed as a percentage okay so what is our what is our our mechanical advantage our mechanical advantage is four our velocity ratio is five multiply that by 100 percent okay 5 into 5, 1, 5 into 100 is 20, 20 times 4 is 80, so the efficiency is 80%, or the efficiency is 0 0.8, so that is the efficiency, so that is the efficiency, then we come to D, calculate the distance moved by the effort calculate the distance moved by the effort calculate the distance moved by the effort all right to calculate the distance moved by the effort uh, we have a relationship between distances moved by the effort to the distance moved by the load and this is the velocity ratio so velocity ratio velocity ratio is equal to the distance moved by the effort divided by the distance moved by the load so we have the distance moved by the load and we have the velocity ratio so the velocity ratio is 5 is equal to the distance moved by the effort divided by the distance moved by the load which is 20 so distance moved by the effort will just be equal to 5 multiplied by 20 so uh, or we do this then we cross multiply so if we cross multiply it will be uh, distance moved by effort is equal to a 5 multiplied by 20 so 5 multiplied by 20 is 100 so this gives us 100 100 what 100 meters because it's distance so it's a 100 100 meters so that is the distance moved by the effort uh, this brings us to the end of this video also if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell if you have already done that and you like the video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up see you next time